Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to cover some tips for reading a weather map. A weather map can be fun and very insightful. There are several different types of weather maps. This one includes what are called station models. The National Weather Service has around a thousand weather stations that collect data. They present this data in this format and it provides lots of information. I have a complete video that covers over this information and I'll leave a link in the notes. In this video I'd like to cover a more generic weather map like this one. And as you can see you have an H and L and some other lines. So let's go through some of the basics. First you have these somewhat squiggly lines here. They are called isobars and they connect areas that have the same pressure. If the isobars are spread out, there is a gradual change in pressure. If they're very close together, there is a great change in pressure, and usually some type of weather event is taking place. Next, an isobar, the average is measured in millibars, and it's 1,013. If it's below this, you have a low pressure area. And if you'll notice this, where the L is, you have 1,009, so that would be considered low pressure. And low pressure areas are indicated with an L. On the other hand, let's look at a high pressure area represented by the H. It is 1,032. High pressure areas generally have dry, clear weather, and a low pressure area generally is wet or some type of weather event, like a thunderstorm, could be taking place. Next, you have symbols for fronts. There are four main types of fronts. A cold front, represented with a triangle, and the triangles point in the direction of the movement. A warm front, represented by a circle. A occluded front, notice that it has a circle and a triangle, and they both point in the direction of movement. And finally, a stationary front, and it has triangles on the side of the cold front, and circles on the side of the warm front, and they are stationary and don't move. Each of these fronts can provide some type of weather. As a rule of thumb, a, a cold front generally moves some type of thunderstorm or rainy weather. A warm front can bring in rainy weather, but most of the time not severe storms. An occluded front can have rain, drizzle, and possibly uh, snow, and then a stationary front can have drizzle or rain for several days. In addition, you'll see a line here that uh, is a dotted line or a spaced outline. This represents a trough, and this is an area where there is lifting of air. It is generally associated with some type of wet weather. So there we go, a couple of tips and pointers about a weather map and what it tells you. Thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.